From Forbes Breaking News, Hawley brutally confronts Granholm about institutionalized corruption leading to clash. Senator Hawley. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Madam Secretary, nice to see you again. Nice to see you. When you were here last, I talked with you about the fact that more than 130 officials in the Energy Department reported more than 2,700 trades of shares, bonds, and options in companies that ethics officers said was directly related to the agency's work. This is institutionalized corruption. And I asked you point blank, do you own any individual stock? And you told me, no. Let's just look at it. it was uh, well, it's quite likely lie detector test determined that was a lie. The lie detector determined that was a lie. Oh! And Granholm, whatever, energy secretary, whatever nonsense. And she recently posted to her Twitter some trip she made to like an electric car facility or some sort of power plant where she was wearing a vest and a hard hat. And it's like, who are you pitching this to? I'm in a construction site right now that is with Group 14 who are building a, an anode factory with silicon for batteries for electric vehicles. It's for little kids. It's quite obviously cartoonish. Who is buying this? We already know that the, the electricity prices in California, at least, and I'm sure nationwide, but it's more extreme. Everything is more extreme in California. But those prices are going through the roof. So, I mean, gas prices are already insane. So we encourage you to buy an electric car, but we can't really, our, our power grid can't support that. But even if it could, we're also going to up the prices of electricity. And then Jennifer Granholm goes, you know, th takes an interview in an in a orange vest or a yellow vest or something in a hard hat. Like, oh, we're, we're going green. And she thinks that, ev well, they all think we're really stupid. So, I don't know, Josh Hawley, it sounds like, I mean, it's the, the title of the video is Brutally Confronts. So, I guess we're going to get there, but it sounds like he has literally called her out, and I doubt she's going to like this at all. It's not a difficult question. Do you own individual stocks, Madam Secretary? You said no. In fact, you repeated it three times to me. No, no, no. Turns out, that was false. You did own multiple individual stocks, and you neglected to... And, and how did she think she was going to get away with that? Right. And especially as a white woman. Right. I mean, they could they could throw you under the bus. No problem. But we see this with uh, Tiffany Hinyard and Tish James and um, Big Fat Furious, Phony Fanny Pack Willis. They genuinely feel that they can get away with anything. They're so off the plot. Right. Gone are the days of a little bit of skimming off the top. Two for you, one for me. But they're just I mean, it's completely obvious. We all see it. And the worst part is, of course, nothing's going to happen to them. Report it to this committee for months afterwards. Why did you mislead this committee? Oh, my goodness. That was exactly my response. So why did Senator, you mislead this committee? I believed that I had sold all individual stocks. <laughs> and I oh, oh, yeah, I, I thought I sold it. I, I blatantly lied to your face, thought I was going to get away with it. But when I didn't, I just come up with the excuse that, Oh, I, I thought I, I, I actually thought I sold it. What? I was incorrect. So I came back. So you just don't and know told, your portfolio? Um, pretty much. It's a big one, I guess, huh? No, it's extremely small. <laughs> so you were, you were lying, and now your excuse is that you're actually incompetent. So either way, it's a lose lose. Um, Apparently not. Someone manages it for you? So I came back as soon as I found out that, in fact, I had not sold all individuals. Wait, 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 wait. No, that's not true either. Let's just look at the timeline. Let, let's not. You're, I just remind you, you're under oath. <laughs> Madam Secretary, you testified you didn't own any individual stocks. You didn't sell the stocks for a whole nother month. And after you sold the stocks, you waited another month before you informed this committee. Why did you mislead us? And, what oh, and then she apologized for misleading. Where have we heard that before? Well, it's all over the place, right? Greaseball, scumbag, bang your wife, Governor Gavin Newsom. I uh, want to make it clear that everything you've heard and read is true. Uh, and I am deeply sorry about that. I've hurt someone I care deeply about, Alex Turk, his friends and family. And that is something that I have to live with and something that I am deeply sorry Clinton fixer George Stephanopoulos. 
An extraordinary apology from George Stephanopoulos, live on Good Morning America. He admitted that he donated $75,000 to the Clinton Foundation and failed to disclose it even as he reported on the controversy surrounding the foundation. But I should have made additional disclosures on air when we covered the foundation. And I now believe that directing personal donations to that foundation was a mistake. Even though I made them strictly support work done to stop the spread of AIDS, help children, and protect the environment in poor countries, I should have gone the extra mile to avoid even the appearance of a conflict. I apologize to all of you for failing to do that. They do these terrible things, they get caught, they don't face any consequences, and then sort of give these mealy-mouthed apologies as to why they've been so corrupt and are cheating the American public at large. What were you hiding? Why did you wait so long? Why did you hide this? And I'm sure she's absolutely squirming right now. She hates these um, these cards, that, these, these boards that he has. He literally has giant receipts right behind him, and she's not going to do good. I did not hide it because I brought it forth to the committee when I realized that we had made a mistake. Really? Did- what, what, what explains the delay? Why did you wait for a full month to, expo- to explain your actions to this committee, your that, false testimony? Uh, that's less than a month, and I sent a letter explaining what had happened. May the 15th to June the 9th. Are we gonna- I owned a, a Ford stock that was... You misled this stock. committee, and you wait... What were the stocks? What were the stocks that you owned? It was a Ford stock that my husband had owned since he was very young, and uh, I just was not aware of it. And what were the others? You sold six stocks. What were the other five? Uh, I sold uh, non-conflicting stocks. What were they? <laughs> I don't, honestly, I don't even know. I do know the Ford one because... That- non-conflicting stocks. Yeah, yeah the other... The, it, was, it was my husband's from when he was a kid, and I didn't know anything about it. And then the other ones, I mean, there, there was no conflict of interest there. I, give it a rest, guys. That was a conflict. You don't... That's why you I don't, raised this. It, <laughs> You're here before this committee a year later after actively misleading to us, after denying and delaying and delaying, and now you won't tell us. Was one of them Proterra? No. You sat on the board of directors oh at Proterra. God. You made millions, CNN reports, and stock options at Proterra. Then you, you promoted Proterra stock and Proterra products I as energy not. secretary. Sure. Was sure. that one of the sure. stocks that you sold? This is so... I, I mean, really. Was that one of the... Really? St- yeah, I, I mean, really, how dare you? How dare you bring up the details of my corruption? I mean, this is just a bridge too far. This, of course, is one of the awfuls in action. The awfuls. The affluent white female liberals. Really? So, yes, no, really. No, you are presiding over institutionalized corruption in your energy department. You I'm have so violated sorry, but- the Stock Act nine separate times. You have been referred by the Inspector General for violations of the Hatch Act. It is institutionalized corruption that you are now the face of. And here's what I'm trying to figure out. I just want to know who really runs the energy department. Is it you or is it the mega corporations whose stock that you own that you're making profits in? Oh my goodness. Or maybe it's the foreign billionaires who fund your conferences. Let's try something else. Do you know the names of the foreign billionaires who fund the conferences you go to? Since you don't know the stocks, do you know the names of the foreign billionaires? This is unbelievable to me. Uh, Let me help Mr. you. Mr. Chairman. One of them is Hans like Org Weiss, a Swiss billionaire who has used various dark money front I groups do not know what you to are funnel talking about. various dark money front groups to funnel foreign money into American politics. He has used the Burger Action Fund, $20 million, that then sent money to the Fund for a Better Future, that then sent money to the Climate Power Group that has funded conferences you've attended. Do you know who this is? Do you I think it's a no good idea, idea to attend is. conferences no idea by foreign billionaires? About. I have no idea what you're talking about. You don't about. know the stocks. You don't know the billionaires. You would take no responsibility. Meanwhile, stock. your energy department, executives in your energy department are trading stocks in, in companies that they have direct oversight over, and you were too. Now, that is incorrect. I, Nobody in my in the Department of Energy, and we have a strong ethics office, does not <laughs> trade stocks. We have a strong ethics office lady. You're caught, right? I mean, the same thing we see with, of course, Pelosi and her husband and her son, but nothing ever happens to these people. And I guess that's why they're so they're so up in arms about even the thought that maybe the gravy train might slow down just a tiny bit if empty suit hack puppet Bo Jiden is not reinstalled. Maybe that's it. 
in anything that they have oversight over. That's, that People is, that is simply stocks. not true, Madam Secretary. Sir, the Wall Street Journal has reported on Senator, this extensively. If I may, Wall if I may Journal, Senator, if, if I may just ask the question, is it possible that uh, maybe we can continue this at a later time? But if you had any questions on the energy, direct energy policies. Mr. Chairman, this is directly relevant to institutionalized corruption in the Department of Energy that she oversees. You're, I think, about to say that, that the Wall Street Journal report's wrong. The Wall Street Journal report did not say that people over whom they were, were in areas where they were directly overseeing had stocks. They did not. Our ethics office consults with all of our employees. It's crazy. That's the second time she's mentioned this now. Our ethics office. As if you're not in control of those very same people. Or you want us to believe that it's like an outside agency of trustworthy people that have created an ethics office to overlook you? It's like, I mean, there's no adult in the room. Right? Oh, our ethics office. It's the same thing with Trump. Well, he's facing all these felony counts. You did that. That's still you. Absolutely insane. Infuriating. That need to be con that that uh, have a re reporting requirement about their stock holdings. They do not own stocks in areas that they have any influence over. Nor do I. Madam Secretary, <laughs> all I have to say is this record is just deplorable. It is despicable. It is outrageous that hundreds of officers in the Energy Department are trading shares. Incorrect. It is outrageous that you misled Incorrect. us. It is outrageous Incorrect. that you That's are continuing incorrect. to mislead us. And it is outrageous you're going to conferences and events funded by foreign billionaires using dark money to try to influence our politics. This has got to change. Yeah, and she's going to keep on claiming, well, uh, this is outrageous. I can't believe you. I mean, she's got the classic Karen haircut. She is a card-carrying member, a, member uh, a very high up the ladder member of the Awfuls, and part of the reason why everything is collapsing is because, oh, well, we're going to do electricity, we're going to go green, all to make sure that she and her buddies line their pockets.